Welcome to the authority that's called self-projected authority. Now this is a very rare authority and only 2.72% of people in the world have this authority. So the first thing I want you to understand is that in uh, listening for your own inner authority, you are going to be different from the vast majority of other people. How they make their decisions isn't anything to do with you. What you need to do is concentrate on what is your inner authority. What is it that you can trust no matter what? And it's a subtle authority. You're a projector by nature. So as a projector, you're here to wait for the invitation, wait to be recognized for who you are. And if the invitation fits with who you are and you would like to go in that direction, then generally speaking, that would be appropriate for you. However, in your case, it's not a matter of you making your mind up. And this is very, very important for you to understand. This isn't a mind authority. The mind can never be an inner authority for anyone. I will discuss that later. Your own unique authority is something that comes out of you. This is your identity linked to your throat. It is your identity speaking that you want to listen for. Now, your identity is something that is to do with the direction in which you're going and to do with the personal insights, when I say insights, the, the, the self-talking in a poetic language in terms of truth can also be part of this. Most of the time it's going to be in terms of direction. So, when you're listening to your voice, what I want you to listen to is in accepting such an invitation, whatever it may be, is this something that will make me happy? Can I see myself there? You know, will I fit that particular scenario? Will it make me happy to be with that person? Is this something that that will really take me into a future that I would like to be in. Now, this is a spontaneous verbal release. This is something that just comes out of your identity without you thinking about it. It's unrehearsed. It's not you speaking to yourself and trying to frame it and edit it in a way that makes it sound more likely or makes it sound more favorable to you. It's something that just comes out of you. I want you to just think about that for a minute. You know, what would that sound like? What would that be? One of the things to understand is that you have no motors. Um, that means you have no fixed motors. It doesn't mean that you can't get energy simply by walking into a public area. But it means that you're not really here to do a hell of a lot. I mean, those people that have motors, there are four motors in the human being, those people that have motors have something to do. They have something to do in this world. You're a guide. And you're designed to guide people so that they can have success through following your guidance and then recognize that it was you that was behind them. To be able to tell other people, you know, I couldn't have done it without her, I couldn't have done it without him. So you get recognition through the success of someone else following your guidance.